Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make yet another pair of baby shoes. I really love this pattern. It's got a lovely design on the top. Um, the variations of the soles etc they're all the same as to the cuff booties and the uh, yeah the cuff booties actually. Um, Oh, and my uh, tie up bow tie uh, lace sh uh, shoes that I showed you yesterday. Um, these ones are super cute, uh, very minimalistic, and um, they're really easy to make. And I'll show you how to make them. Um, they're perfect for, for any weather, really, but uh, at the moment, spring, sunshine, um, or coming into summer, and these are really great um, for your baby's feet. Um, these ones are zero to three months, and um, and I'll show you in the description box on how to make um, other sizes. I've made a, one in a lovely lemon. Um, like I said, as we're in the uh, sunshine period, then I'll make some lighter colours. I did actually make a white pair as well. Uh, just to show you how cute they are. Absolutely adorable. Um, so let's begin the project. I'm going to be making them in a lovely nude beige colour. Hopefully you can see it um, properly on the screen. This is a uh, Peto Everyday DK, 100% acrylic, and this shade is beige. So let's begin the tutorial. Both shoes are exactly the same. Um, of course, you will need your scissors. A yarn needle for sewing in your ends and guess what 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. that's the my to go to hook for zero to three i think it's absolutely perfect design uh, sorry size for um the baby you can see i shouldn't really uh, keep you waiting but you can see it's slightly warped you can see how much i've been using this right so then let's begin so the first thing you need to do is a slip knot. Here we are. Let's move my coffee over there. No time for coffee. Right, so chain nine. As mentioned before, if I'm going too fast, just pause me. When I say chain nine and if I'm zooming across to chain nine, just pause, do your chain nine and then press play again if I'm going too fast for you. So we need to do a half double crochet into the third chain. So one, two, and three, pop the half double crochet into there, into the same hole, another half double crochet. Because we skip those two, sorry, we use the two here, that's technically working out as three, but we'll call it two. This chain two and the two, so yeah. Um, next five stitches, five half double crochets. Last stitch, six half double crochets, the very last one here. Work across this, uh, your chain. Now we will place, same as the opposite, five half double crochets. So there's your first one. Four and five. We need to place three half double crochets into this last stitch. You can go in there, but as you know me by now, I go here. So three. One, two, and three. And slip stitch onto the second chain. That's round one. I'll slip this off now, actually. 
Let me get in my way. Okay, so that's round one. Round two, the sole. There's only two rounds for the sole. Chain three into that very same hole. Another double crochet. So technically the chain three and one double crochet is classed as two double crochet. So for the next two stitches here and here, put two double crochets in both of them. That's the one and that's the two. Five double crochets into the next five stitch. check all for that in the next six two double crochets in each stitch so it will be a total of 12 so two in the next six that's the one two three Two, three, four, two more. Okay, five half double crochets. Oh, sorry, five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Three stitches remaining. Two. In each of them, total of six. Okay, now we need to slip stitch onto the third chain. One, two, three. There's your sole. Now we'll work the upper part of the shoe. There's only three more rounds and you're done. These are very quick and very easy to make, but really cute. So chain one and in that hole there, do one half double crochet. Now work all the way around, half double crochets, but in the back loops only. See that? So there's three. So we need 34 in total. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we've just done our 34 uh, half double crochet, slip stitch into the first half double crochet there to close the round. Onto the second round. So chain one, half double crochet into the same place. Now going to both loops, do nine half double crochets in total. So that's one and do nine. Right. What we'll do now is a stitch called two half double crochets together. So we're doing two half double crochets together over the two stitches. So we need to do eight of those. I'll show you how to do them. So as you would do a normal half double crochet, so yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop. So to do a half double crochet, you would normally just do that and that'll be the end of it. But when you're doing it over two, two, two stitches, yarn over, put your hook through, pull up, then yarn over again, go to the next one. Pull up a loop. We should have five. One, two, three, four, five. Pull through all five. That's one. There's no chain one or anything. Straight over to the next one. So yarn over. Oops. Into the uh, stitch. Pull up a loop. Three loops. Yarn over. Go into the next one. Pull up a loop. Now you have five. Pull through all five. So you can see that's one there, one set there. That's another set there. 
Go ahead and do eight in total. There's two already done, we need six more. Two, four, six, eight. Now immediately on to the next stitch and a half double crochet. Should have nine half double crochets as you did here. I'll just double check I did have nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. And then two, four, six, eight sets of the uh, half double crochets. And then two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay. Slip stitch into the first half double crochet to finish up that round. Next round, chain one, half double crochet into the same stitch and do nine. That's one, do eight more. Okay, nine half double crochets. On the previous round, there was nine this side and there was nine this side. On this round, there will be nine this side and there will be eight remaining on the other side because of the, the pattern of the, the next bit that we're going to do. So what we need to now do is uh, four treble crochets together. Okay, sounds complicated. So I will do this with you. And you could just follow my steps. So to do a treble crochet, you yarn over twice. You miss the next stitch, go into the next one. Pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. You have two loops now. That's one. We need four in total. So yarn over twice, miss that one, go into that one, next one. Pull through two, pull through two. Now you've got three. But try and keep these treble crochets nice and neat because it will that is forming this part of the shoe. So you don't want these wonky or loose or tight. So try and keep the same tension. So we've got three. Sorry, we've got three loops, but we've done two. So we need to do two more. So yarn over twice miss the next one and go into there the next one pull through two pull through two now you have four yarn over twice miss the next one and then go into that st stitch there pull through two pull through two so now We have one, two, three, four, five, and we are pulling through all five, <laughs> it's quite fiddly, uh, all five together, like so. And then chain one. What we will do next is half double crochets in the remaining stitches, but we won't go into this one. We miss a stitch, go into the next one. And work along. And like I said, there should be eight. Slip stitch into the first half double crochet, pull your yarn through. 
chain one and slip your yarn. They literally are so easy. Two rounds for the sole, three rounds for the shoe. Look at that. So cute. Okay, grab your needle. Like I've showed you, come down. Come back up again. Should make this one a bit longer, really. Okay. And then one more. And that's all you need. Slip off your yarn and voila, we have a baby shape. I'll put this in so you can see how it fits. It's actually a really nice colour in the beige. But of course you can make any colours that you want. Cute are those? I've got a serious problem when it comes to baby shoes, but I just love making them. And they're not really that complicated, to be honest. I'm trying to show you very simple patterns that anyone can make. Um, so, yeah, both shoes are exactly the same. Left and right. Here is my little collection. Um super simple to make i really hope you've enjoyed this video please do subscribe and give a thumbs up like what you see and share the videos to um, anyone who'd like to um, make them these are actually quite simple to do they look complicated because of this stitch here but we've worked that together and you can rewind and you know have a look at that uh, a couple of times so literally it's just the four into one um which closes in the shoe. Super duper cute. Thank you for all your support and thank you for all your lovely comments. Um, ladies, you know who you are out there. And uh, and I'll, uh, uh, you know, you, you please leave a comment. If you've made any of these, please send me a picture as well and um, have a lovely day and I'll see you on the next one.